and Michael Van de Poppy, a prominent crypto analyst, recently outlined three key factors that could herald a bullish phase for Ethereum, the second largest crypto by market capitalization. One cruise factor he identifies is Bitcoin's current behavior. And the analyst pointed out that as the market leader, Bitcoin's recent signs of bottoming out tend to precede altcoin rallies, hinting at a potential upswing for Ethereum. Moreover, Van de Poppy highlights the growing anticipation surrounding spot Ethereum exchange traded funds, ETFs. And according to Van de Poppy, the increasing buzz about these spot ETFs is a significant catalyst that could drive Ethereum's value over the coming weeks. Additionally, Ethereum is on the cusp of rolling out critical network upgrades. His updates aimed at reducing transaction costs by up to 90% are expected to improve the network's might efficiency and scalability significantly. Uh, the momentum towards ETH is probably going to come in the next few weeks. Uh, arguments, hashtag, uh, Bitcoin bottoming out is a trigger for altcoins to make a new run. Uh, Ethereum spot ETF hype. Uh, Ethereum launching new upgrades to reduce 90% of the cost. Uh, and uh, taking a video and open down on really things that, and, and, and just of course, uh, Trump made no more. Uh, that made them uh, me, and that's the, it's the case that you have intention. I think we put them instead of uh, a stories on return a couple of months uh, that designed in fact on these revising methods uh, follows a Tim Biko, a core Ethereum developer, updated the community earlier today on the progress. Then Coom, which incorporates uh, protodank sharding, is set to reduce transaction costs on Layer 2 solutions, making Ethereum more accessible and affordable for users. According to the developer, uh, the upgrade is scheduled to activate on the Sepolia testnet on January 30th and the Haleski testnet on February 7th, with mainnet implementation following if these tests succeed. And more testnet blobs on the way. Uh, uh, Dankun will activate on Sepulia Yon 30 and on Haleski February 7. Uh, if, if running a node on either network, now's the time to update it. Um, um, assuming both of these go smoothly, mainnet is next. Uh, Tim Bako, January 25th, 2024. And, and uh, Solomatic shows something we know. I, I ask that. Uh, I asked the question as collected, uh, despite these positive developments, Ethereum's market performance mirrors the overall bearish sentiment in the crypto market led by Bitcoin. ETH has seen a 13.7% decline in the past week, currently trading at 2216 bucks. However, analysts like Van der Pop urge caution, particularly regarding the impact of the Bitcoin spot ETF. While there may be short-term selling pressure, Van de Pop remains optimistic about the long-term prospects. Uh, the analyst suggests that the influx of new capital from diverse market participants uh, could propel Bitcoin and, by extension, Ethereum to new heights. Uh, uh, the markets need to be more accurate uh, with the impact of the ETF. Uh, there's some selling pressure in the short term, but in the long term, a massive amount of new money flows into the markets from new participants. As a result, Bitcoin might push higher this cycle than we think. Uh, Mikhail van de Pape, January 25th, 2024.